Hello students, in this video we'll see another example of using Stokes theorem. Let's suppose that S is the cone Z equals the square root of X squared plus Y squared cut off at the plane Z equals 1. Find the flux of the curl of the vector field x squared plus y comma 3y comma z plus x y dot d sigma. So our surface is an open surface. There's the z-axis, the y-axis, and the x-axis. There's our cone. And we're capping this cone at the plane. This is the height z equals 1. So this surface has a boundary, it has an opening. At the circle, so the, this curve over here, let's call that curve over here C, and so what is C? So C is going to be the curve gamma of t is cosine of t comma sine of t comma 1 for t between 0 and 2 pi. And so now we're in a position to apply Stokes' theorem because you're finding the flux of a curl over an open surface. So the surface over here is open, so by Stokes' theorem, This will be the flow integral over that curve C of the vector field itself of x squared plus y comma 3y comma z plus x times y dot t hat ds. And now we film what these things are on the curve. I have my curve parameterized, so this will be equal to the integral from 0 to 2 pi. x squared will be a cosine squared of t plus sine of t. That's my y. Then I'll have a 3 sine of t. Then I'll have a z, but on this curve z is equal to 1, so I'm going to have a 1 plus what? 1 plus cosine of t times sine of t. And we're going to dot this, so t hat ds is the same thing as gamma prime of t dt, or in the notation of the book, d gamma vector. And so this will be negative sine of t comma cosine of t comma 0 dt. And so I do the dot product of 0 with this term over here. That dot product will give me 0, right? So all that's left is just these other terms. So we we'll get the integral from 0 to 2 pi. And we'll have cosine squared of t times negative sine of t. Then plus, or minus, rather, sine squared of t. And then we have the 3 sine of t times cosine of t. So I'm going to have a plus 3 sine of t cosine of t dt. We'll do one final step over here. We're going to write this over here as the integral from 0 to 2 pi of negative cosine squared of t sine of t. And then we'll have what? Then we're going to have a negative sine squared, which I'm going to write as negative 1 minus cosine of 2t over 2 by the power reduction formula. And then I have a plus 3 sine t cosine t dt. Now let's do each of these integrals. So if I integrate this thing over here, what will happen? If I integrate cosine squared of t times sine of t with a negative sign, that's cosine cubed of t, cosine cubed of t over 3 from 0 to 2 pi. Then this next term over here is going to be a negative t over 2 for this term over here. Then we have positive cosine 2t over 2. That's going to integrate to sine of 2t over 4. And then we have this 3 sine t cosine t. That's going to integrate to 3 halves sine squared of t from 0 to 2 pi. And now each of the trigonometric terms is going to vanish when you plug in 0 and 2 pi because of the periodicity. And so what's left over here is I'm going to have a negative 2 pi 
over 2 minus 0. So this will be negative pi as your flux around the closed curve. So whereas if we were to do the surface integral, this may have seemed like it was a little more complicated. But had we had to co compute the surface integral, I would have to find the curl of this vector field. I would have to parameterize the surface, find the normal vector to the surface, do that dot product, and then do the double integral over the parameterization space. So by using Stokes theorem, we save a tremendous amount of time by, by converting it to a one-dimensional flow integral. Thank you very much.